Hello everyone, this is Sidrigan here, and today I have a special theory video. I've never done a theory video before, so if this is like absolutely crap, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm trying my best, guys. But anyways, I have noticed that Alistair, however this spelled, because there's multiple different variations of spelling, is a very popular name among fictional villains. Which I thought was incredibly weird because, like, what? I don't know. But I know four villainous characters that are named Alistair, however you spell that name. And that is, like, a lot, guys. Like, you may not realize it, but I, for one, do not, like, watch or play very many things, so... I wouldn't know. If I were to guess, I would probably have like 50 or so villains floating around in my head. Just because like, yeah. So assuming I had 50 villains in my head and four of them were named Alistair, that means like 9% of the villains were named Alistair. Which is like a huge number. Like, why are so many villains named Alistair? So, I was gonna take a look at that in today's episode. So, first, I'm gonna tell you which villains I have on my list, and then I'm gonna look at the research I found online. So, the villains I have on my list are one, Alistair from Pokemon Shield. And I'm not saying that Alistair is a villain because he's not. Or even, like, an antagonist or anti-hero, because I don't think he is either. I also have not played Pokemon Shield, so... <laughs> yeah. I have played Pokemon Sword, which I believe is essentially the same thing, except for one of the gyms, it is Alistair, and for the other gym, it is Bea, and then for one of the gyms, it is the Rock Guy, and then for the other gym, it is the Ice Guy. So... Yeah, it's just very subtle differences, but for the most part, it's the same game. But I did not have this gym leader. But basically, since he's a gym leader, then he is, like, a rival. He's in opposition of the protagonist, so I would consider him to be, like, some sort of, like, opposing force, okay? But, yeah, we have him, Alistair from Pokemon Shield, and his name is spelled... A-L-L-I-S-T-E-R. So it's like, all I stare. That's our first spelling of the word Alistair. Then my second villain, who is actually a villain. Yes, actually a villain, not just a rival. This is Aster, so yes, his name's not Alistair, it's Aster. But I consider that close enough, because if you add a L-A, then it's Alistair. So, Yeah. And this is probably the one that the least of y'all know, but this is a guy from Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which is somewhere in the Zelda frame of timelines. I don't know where. But it's basically in between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. It's like Breath of the Wild, but they go back in time. So this character is not in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, which is kind of weird because Tears of the Kingdom comes after Breath of the Wild, so you would think that they would include him in some way, shape, or form, but they don't. Mysteriously disappeared, question mark? But in Breath of the Wild, they talk about how the calamity was foretold by a prophet. And I watched a Nintendo Black Crisis video on this. I'll link him down below. And he said that Aster was the prophet of doom, quote-unquote, who predicted the Calamity coming. Which would make sense because Aster is, like, the harbinger of the Calamity. He's the one who, like, is trying to awaken it. But also, like, why would you tell your enemy that you're trying to destroy them, question mark? I don't know. So, yeah, that's Aster, and his name is spelled A-S-T-O-R. So basically Alistair, but without the L-A. So, close enough. The next Alistair is Alistair Crump from Haunted Mansion 2. And Haunted Mansion 2 is a sequel to Haunted Mansion 1. And it came out, like, I think a year ago, maybe? 
I watched it around Halloween. It was a pretty good movie. I highly recommend it. I think it was better than the first movie. The first movie had Eddie Murphy, so, like, don't get me wrong. He's a great actor. I'm not saying that it was because of the actors. But just the movie in general was better because I loved, like, the storyline and the plot of the first one. But it was just kind of, like, slower, I guess. The beginning of the second one was slower, but, like, the middle and the end were, like, a lot faster and more action-y and stuff like that. I think it was because of, like, the CGI and special effects, partially, that made it better, but I don't know. But this guy is basically, like, he was abandoned, I think. He was either abandoned or, like, his family, like, kicked him out, I guess. I don't know. Either way, like, he was orphaned by his family, and so he was poor, of course, but he became really rich and famous, kind of like Oliver Warbucks from Annie. And he, like, made a living for himself, but he had, like, this party, and then he, like, chopped someone's head off and, like, buried it underneath his house or something. So, <laughs> he is definitely a villain. After doing that, he also, like, continued to murder, like, 999 people. So he just needed, like, one more soul before he could, like, have a thousand or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah. This is Alistair Crump from Haunted Mansion 2, and that is... A-L-I-S-T-A-I-R. So, like, all I stare. All I stare. Yas. And then the last and fourth Alistair that I have on my list is the Alistair from the famous TV series Husband Hotel, which is actually the one that, like, inspired me to make this video because that's the one that I have had the most experience with recently. Alistair... He's kind of, like, a complicated character to explain, because I don't think he's a villain, but I don't think he's good either. So he is kind of more like an anti-hero than some of the other ones. But, basically, Alistair is the radio demon. I have another theory on Alistair coming up soon, because I think there's more to Alistair's backstory than we might know. But basically, Alistair, like, died and then... Somehow, he got lots of power really quick, like, faster than any of the other quote-unquote overlords had gotten before. So he, like, ascended to power very fast because of, like, his dark magic or something like that. I don't know. He has, like, these creepy powers. But he doesn't do anything bad, I don't think. He helps out Charlie with her hotel. And he kind of sort of tries to kill Serpentius, but that's because he's attacking the hotel. So he's, like, defending the hotel. But... Towards the end, this is a spoiler, so if you have not watched Hasman Hotel, you should skip ahead for, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 30 seconds or so. He, like, in the end, I don't know. I don't know what he does, but it makes it seem like he's, like, becoming evil or something. Because, you know, he did, like, that sacrifice and, like, died, I guess, but then, like, came back to life or something and then, like, was evil. So, I don't know. Maybe he's gonna be evil in the next season. So, I'm gonna include him as a villain on this list. And, of course, his name is spelled A-L-A-S-T-O-R. So, that is basically just Aster, but with L-A. So, Aster and Alistair are close enough, guys. Like, don't even. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, we're going to move on to the research aspect of this. So, I did all my research on Google. Yeah. Such an amazing source. So, I typed in, like, blank name origin, blank name meaning, and then blank name meaning in Greek and Latin because those are two of the most, like, significant languages when it comes to name meanings. So, I did three of the spellings. I did Alistair, Alistair, and Alistair. You know, those are totally different. But the first Alistair I did was the first one on this list. So, I did the A-L-L-I-S-T-E-R first. I said Alistair name origin, and that brought me with the meeting, na man's defender, the Greek name Alistair, has some heroic connotations. This name has roots linking back to Alexander the Great, known for being one of the greatest military generals that ever lived. So, this comes up multiple times across the searches. I'm just going to read out all the searches so that you see all the research that I did. But the thing that sort of got me here was man's defender, that's like the opposite of villain, Heroic, that's also, like, the opposite of villain. And then, Alexander the Great, in addition to having great at the end of his name, he was, like, a super powerful, like, general in the ancient times. And I guess he could be a bad person. 
because he sort of like started a war by not naming the heir to his throne but i mean i don't know so yeah moving on we have alistair name meaning man's defender meaning man's defender with the meaning man's defender the greek name alistair has some heroic connotations this name has roots linking back to Alexander the Great. No generous generals ever lived. This is basically the same thing as the one before. So, yeah. They're really trying to drive in the point that the name Alistair means man's defender, which is like the opposite of villain. So, I don't know. Kind of confused right now. Sus. Now we have Alistair name meaning Latin. Meaning defender of the people. Oh my god. So unpredictable. But now we're moving on to the second spelling of Alistair, which was Alistair Crump. So, A-L-I-S-T-A-I-R. Alistair. And this says, Scottish variation of Alexander from the Greek name Alexandros, composed of Alexian, to defend or to protect, and Anir, man, warrior. Alistair is a masculine name of Scottish and Greek origin. Now we have Alistair name meaning defender of the people. Alistair is a masculine name of Scottish and Greek origin. This name translates to defender of the people, a meaning that can certainly be felt in its steely and commanding pronunciation. Its anglicized version of the Scottish title Alistar, which in turn is a version of Alexander and the Greek Alexandros. So now we have the final fourth spelling of the name Alistair, which is Husband Hotel, A L A S T O R. So I have Alistair name origin. Alistair is an ancient Greek for he who does not forget, thus avenger, persecutor, tormentor, one who suffers from divine vengeance. So this is leaning more towards the evil side, but not entirely there yet. Might be related to Greek altosos, meaning not to be forgotten or the unforgetting, or it might be derived from ancient Greek alomaia to wander. If I pronounce these words wrong, do not get mad at me. I have no idea how to pronounce these. I'm sorry. Alistair name meaning man's defender avenger, meaning man's defender avenger, an epithet of the Greek god Zeus. Alistair is striking masculine name sure to inspire its bearer to strive for the greater good. Meaning avenger or man defender, Alistair is by no means a name for the faint of heart. After all, Zeus earned the title for being an avenger of evil deeds. So, yes, Zeus is, like, the main Greek god, but Zeus is also kind of, like, bad. He did some scandalous things, so I don't know if this is also leaning more towards the evil edge, but, yeah. And this, it also says, like, inspiring, greater good, striking, and faint of heart, so, yeah. I don't know what that implies. Alistair name meaning Latin, meaning avenger or man defender. Alistair by no means is a name faint of heart after all is using the title for being an avenger of evil deeds so that's basically the same thing as before and then this says meaning uncertain possibly not to be forgotten or to wander rome also could be used as a variant spelling of alistair defending men so now i decided to type in alistair name meaning evil to see if that would bring up more evil results so you might be thinking like oh well this is rigged because if you type in any name it might bring up evil results but I tried that. I tried my own name, of course, because I don't want to put in people that I know who might be uncomfortable with that. I put in Sydney name meaning evil, and it did not bring up any significantly evil results. And then I also put in Sylvia's name. I know that Sylvia's name isn't like her real name. It's like a pseudonym. So I would assume that Sylvia would be okay with me sharing this. If you're not, then let me know and I can like do something about it. So I said, Sylvia name meaning evil, and then it said this. So, yeah, Spirit of the Wood is definitely not evil. But our other ones right here, Alistair name meaning evil. Alistair, in Christian demonology, came to be considered a kind of possessing entity. He was likened, I don't know if that's supposed to be linked, likened, question mark, to Nemesis. The name Alistair was also used as a generic term for a class of evil spirits. So this is getting interesting. This says, the character Alistair may be a reference to the demon Alistair from Christian demonology. Alistair is said to be the chief executioner and torturer of the monarch of hell and is an exceptionally cruel demon. The name Alistair became a commonplace 
term in reference to evil spirits or foul-tempered individuals. And then this says, the same thing as before, he was likened to Nemesis, the name Alistair was also a generic term for a class of evil spirits. One of these epithets is the evil genius of the household, meaning that Alistair is the demon that conducts the most henuous, depraved, and unbearably cruel actions. So, yeah, pretty interesting results right there, especially because um, Hasbin Hotel deals with demons, and I have no idea about this Christian demonology that it's talking about, but maybe Alistair from Hasbin Hotel in particular, because I don't know about the other Alistairs, maybe that's why they chose his name, because the name Alistair had some significance in this Christian demonology, and of course, Alistair from Hasbin Hotel is a demon, the radio demon, so maybe I found out something interesting today. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my first ever theory video. If it was actually good and not absolute crap like I thought it would be, please leave me a like down below. That would help me out so much. And I love you guys, and I'll see you later with my next video. Goodbye!